Hey everyone, today I am going to show you uh, how to complete the assessment of broken access control and hijack, as hijack a session in WebGoat. Um, after we logged in, we're gonna see this um, this page and we're gonna we're not gonna be able to pass the um, assessment because our solution is not correct. For this, uh, for this challenge, we need to use burp suit instead of our uh, current browser. We just close this and open uh, Burp Suite. And in Burp Suite, if you open the <clears throat> proxy tab, you're going to see open browser here. We need to use the Burp Suite's browser so that we can interfere with the request that is gone to the web, web server. After going here, we're going to open our web code. We're going to log in. And we're going to come to the challenge. After opening this challenge, we go to the burp suite and we're opening intercept on so that we can catch the request that we are sending to the server. After we click access, it's not going to, uh, nothing's going to happen because we cached it here. Uh, if we check here, we're gonna see a cookie, and we're gonna we're gonna need the hijack cookie, uh, but that's not here, and we cannot send it right now. So uh, to observe the response we're getting, we're gonna send this to repeater. After uh, sending it to repeater, we're gonna uh, send this request to observe how the cookie we're looking for is changing. Um, after the first send, we're going to see the hijack cookie here. This hijack cookie has two parts, first part and the second part. Uh, we don't know what it is yet. Uh, just to make observations, we can click send again, again, again and again. Here you can see, uh, I want you to focus on this digit. It's increasing one by one, but sometimes two. That's interesting y2 so that's a really important thing for us uh, but first let's look at the other side the other side first like four or five digits are changing instead of the like last digit as you can see maybe it's related to time or something uh, because like if you wait more maybe we see it like higher change so I don't know how it's changing uh, but the deal here is that if you focus on this digit, it's increasing one by one, but sometimes two. What does that mean? That means that between those numbers, somebody just got a session and we need to hijack it so that we can get their um, session, hijack their session. So we need to catch the number between. So in, uh, just to catch that, I'm just going to send the request like a couple more times. It's four now, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 40, 41, and three. As you can see, the last digit was one here and it went up to 42, 43 instead of 42. So what are we going to do with that? If we're gonna get this hijack cookie, we're gonna put this here with a semicolon yeah uh, and we're gonna send this to intruder so that we can um, pen test the or like brute force the hijack cookie what are we going to do is that uh, here is our hijack cookie as you may remember if we go back in the past we're gonna see 41 and 43 41 and 43 so there has been a session in between we need to uh, catch that session. To catch that session, we're gonna make this 42 because that's what uh, we're looking for. For the second part, we need to check the repeater again. So how many digits are changing? As you can see, there's a little interval that the hijack cookie can be. From 0 to 21 to 808, nothing is changing in the numbers. So what are we going to do with that? We're going to take this. 
021 and 808. We're gonna go to the intruder. We're gonna select the last three part and we're gonna make this the older one. The older one was 021 as you can see. The newer one is 808. So we're gonna make the this one the older one. Then we're gonna add these positions then make this a number because we're looking for numbers. Uh, from 021 to 808 will go. So somewhere in between these two numbers, we should have the correct hijack cookie because the first part is correct. We know that somebody used this first part to create their session, but we don't know the second part. But we know that that part the only difference uh, between that part is e uh, between 21 and 808. This intruder is going to attack and brute force every number in between these to uh, create the correct hijack. Uh, nothing we have to do next. We're just going to click start attack. I'm going to say, OK, as you can see, we can see the responses here. If you go to the response, you're gonna see, congratulations, you have successfully completed the assignment. The other ones are wrong. And we can see that in the request, our hijack cookie was this. So we didn't even need to search the entire interval. It was just the beginning of the interval. As you can see, 42.021. Here is your congratulations me uh, message. If we go back to here, um, you're not going to be able to see anything here, but uh, this box is going to turn green uh, be because like we can't um, use the session from Burp Suite, if use the hijack cookie from uh, Burp Suite to see the congratulations message here. But, but if this box turned green, uh, it means that you were successful. By the way, we can also stop our attack as well. Um, pause discard and this is the whole assignment this is the whole um, challenge to complete right now you're going to be able to see the green flag thank you for listening